back to my channel. So as you can see by the title of this video, we're still in quarantine. Still can't leave the house. However, I've been finding myself doing a lot of online shopping and just a lot of time planning outfits, which is so dumb. I was just speaking to my friend the other day and she was like, you're ordering things off ASOS. You're buying new clothes. You're telling me you want to buy new clothes. You're also taking a lot of time planning outfits just to sit in the house. Like, Byron, are you okay? And I think I realized because I have more time to actually plan my outfits and more time where I'm just like not leaving my house, you know, like, because no one can leave the house. I'm giving myself more time to actually put together outfits as opposed to literally waking up in the morning five minutes before uni starts and having to leg it out the door. So I thought it would be fun as you guys often ask where I shop, where I buy my clothes from, if I could show you what I would wear in a week or what I typically wear in a week. So I thought I would compile all those ideas together. And even though we can't leave the house, I feel like getting up and actually getting ready and dressed for the day actually makes such a difference in terms of being productive. I've still been getting up every day, still been getting dressed just to um, sit in my bedroom. If I wasn't just going to sit in my bedroom, Room. Here are seven outfits that I would wear for the seven days of the week. Actually, just quickly before we get into this video, if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, I figured out how to work all the like behind the scenes settings the other day and I saw it said like 60% of people that watch my videos aren't actually subscribed. So if that's you, please go down there and press the subscribe button. It helps me out a lot and um, you get to see me rambling on and talking shit. So... I don't know why that would make you want to subscribe, but please do it. It's free. We often do things that are free. Think of it as charity work. <laughs> So this is probably what I would wear on a Monday. As you can see, I have this band t-shirt on, which is actually from Urban Outfitters. It's Aerosmiths, and I don't really listen. In fact, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm a poser. Don't listen to Aerosmiths. Don't think I know any Aerosmith songs, unless there's like a really iconic one, which I obviously don't know because I am a poser and don't know what the band actually sing. However, I think it's really, really cool. I like the fact that it's got like the cream, the white, and then the washed out black. I think the cream goes well with the trousers. This color palette kind of works. And I would actually wear these shoes a bit, as you'll see in the little clips as well. I would wear these shoes. These are just Jordans. I picked these up when I went to VidCon a couple months ago and I love these shoes. Like, these are my favourite shoes ever. However, the toe's so creased and it really pisses me off and I never understood when people would be so like uptight about their shoes being creased. However, now I get it because now my Jordans are creased. I'm like, oh my god, absolutely not. And also, I may have ordered two more pairs of Jordans because I love these ones so much. Chooses outfit is a little more casual. As you can see, I've got a brown hoodie on. I recently bought this outfit from ASOS and I absolutely love it. So I picked this up from the Reclaim Vintage section on ASOS and I don't know if it's actually reclaimed vintage or if they're just trying to pass it off as reclaimed vintage however the hoodies come and they look like they've been washed a bunch of times which I personally really really love I love the drop shoulder of the hoodies it's a nice material and I also don't own a brown hoodie so I thought why not I did pick up these cream corduroy joggers now I can't remember what they're exactly called online I believe they advertise as joggers and they do have like a drawstring which I will show you in the clips at the side however they like a corduroy super loose fitted really really comfortable you could wear these as smart trousers and get away with it. The only thing that makes it seem like a jogger is how comfy they are and also the fact that it's a drawstring and there's two big pockets. Mm, you could have two big pockets on the back of some trousers. But yeah, I would pair these with probably my triple S. I wear these all the time to go with absolutely anything and because it's a big chunky trainer, it just makes any outfit look so much cooler than it actually is. Throw these on with this outfit and it's gone from cute and casual to like, ooh, kind of streetwear, kind of fun. So I would probably wear these. I don't really do much on Tuesdays. Tuesdays is more just to lay around in the house. If I want to go for a coffee, I'll go for a coffee. Got a lot of uni work to be doing. Still do have a lot of uni work to be doing, but here we are trying on outfits when I can't actually leave the house. I think by the time Wednesday rolls around, I've sort of in my brain mentally processed the fact that I actually need to be a functioning human. It's no longer the weekend. I actually need to look somewhat presentable. And often Wednesdays is my busiest day. I upload a lot of videos on Wednesdays, sometimes have uni on Wednesdays as well. There's just a lot happening. I need to be chill for sitting at my desk, editing, finishing up videos, but also if I need to go out to do a meeting. I'm dressed and ready to go. And I also feel like Wednesday's the hump day. So I feel like I make an effort because it's like it's nearly the weekend. But also now my brain's like, oh my God, shit, it's actually the week and I no longer can sit and watch Disney Plus all day. So we have some smart trousers, which are actually from ASOS. I believe these are ASOS design. And honestly, if you're looking for clothes that you want to have a cheap alternative to more bougie looking things, search ASOS design on ASOS. Their stuff is incredible. Men's and women's, I often switch between both. A lot of my clothes are quite unisex. But these are some men's wide leg, heavy feeling like flowy trousers. I then paired it with this little bag, which is the coolest thing ever. It's from a brand called 21%. They were really kind enough to actually gift me this. So this is just a tiny little bag. If I'm going designer with something on the top, I don't want to be wearing like a Prada bag with Balenciaga. Although I do do that, I try and avoid not doing that. And then I just paired this with some black boots, which I actually got from the women's section in Zara. The women's section in Zara is so much better than the men's. Kind of pissed off about it. But also thankful because I'm skinny enough to fit in to the women's clothes. So maybe being a twink sometimes comes with benefits. As you can probably see my outfits get progressively more 
put together as the week goes on. I think at the beginning of the week, everyone can't be arsed and it gets to like Wednesday, Thursday time. I'm like, all right, maybe I'm gonna try. And also I feel like my weeks get busier towards the end of the week. So I feel like everyone's sort of waking up and be like, shit, we gotta do some stuff. So as you can see, just have this really, really oversized corduroy blazer on. This is actually from TK Maxx. I picked this up quite a while ago. I don't know what the brand is. I can't read it, but it is a fancy little luxury, it says on here, blazer. I got it from TK Maxx. It was on sale for like 30 pounds from like 180. Obviously TK Maxx is great for all those deals, but I, I hardly ever find anything in there if I'm being completely honest. However, the one near Covent Garden is actually really, really good. So I picked up this a while ago. I hardly ever wear this. So the reason it's on my clothing rail is because I want to wear it more. As you can see underneath it, I just literally paired it with this Balenciaga Speed Hunters t-shirt. Now this would just work with any old band tee. You didn't need to do a Balenciaga one. However, this is just the one I have. Paired it with these denim trousers, which I actually got the other day from ASOS. If you're quick, these are still available, but they're on sale right now on ASOS for £13.50. Now, I'm not gonna lie, a good bargain. I posted these on my Instagram story and I did see a lot of people were interested in them. However, I've got a disclaim. As you can see, they're tied with a drawstring. This comes with the jeans. Obviously, it's fixed into the denim. However, I ordered these in my normal size. These are a 30 waist, which is my normal waist size. However, as you can see, they're really, really big. Now, I think the intention is, because they're labeled as skate jeans, I think you're meant to cinch the waist into your actual waist size, which obviously the little drawstring thing lets you do. And then you sort of just bunch it round. So it's like that paper bag effect where it just all looks quite bunched and quite messy. Obviously they're super, super wide leg as well because they are skater jeans, which is, it makes sense. I really, really like it. However, I did want to just disclaim before people order them and do question if they ordered the right size because I did do that. I got them out of the thing and I was like, oh my God, these seem like three sizes too big, but we're going to make it work. I think that's their intention. Now, shoes is something that I can't really figure out what I want to pair with this. I feel like you could wear this to meetings. I feel like you could wear this if you just take the blazer off just around the house. It's literally a t-shirt and denim jeans. Could go to uni lectures in this. It looks a bit more smart if you pair it with a blazer. Obviously, you can accessorize with this as well. However, I don't know if I would wear it with these really fucking cool leopard print shoes. Like, I feel like this could go with the outfit. The mirror's behind the camera. Sorry if I'm looking that way. I feel like this could work if I were feeling extra, if I were going to something fashion related. However, if I were just going for like coffee with a friend or to the shop, I just throw on my Air Force in all honesty. All right, so now it is Friday. I typically have uni on a Friday, so I feel like I always want to wear something that I'm going to go. I go to a fashion uni, so whenever you walk in a fashion uni, everyone looks at you because they dress like they go about to go on a fucking catwalk. It's dumb. But I always feel like I need to dress somewhat cool to go to uni in. So I have this black jumper, as you can see, it's slightly cropped. I really, really love the fit of this jumper. The sleeves are a little long and I have rolled them as well. I have these jeans, which are actually from a brand called Jaded London. I love the brand in general. They stock on ASOS. I picked these up. They've got like some like old fashioned old photographs on them. I don't know if it's actual old photographs or if people have just like recreated this, but it's like of bands and like streets. And I just, I don't know. I feel like they just make the trousers look really fun. Obviously, a little bit of wash denim there, here and there. We love that. And here we have the final outfit. This is Sunday's outfit. My entire day, every Sunday, consists of just sat at my desk, editing videos, prepping for the week, doing all that fun stuff. I feel like Sunday's probably my busiest day of the week. Also, the day that I know I'm probably not gonna leave the house. Nothing's really open on a Sunday, obviously. It's the Lord's Day. All that stuff. I'm not Christian, so I don't know why I said that. But I never leave the house. I'm always sat at home. If I do leave the house, it's to walk to the shop and get some sweets, or get a snack, or go to the cinema. That's always a fun Sunday activity, actually. And I feel like this outfit's perfect for all of that. I feel like you could literally wear this outfit to do absolutely anything in and it does somewhat look cool. I feel a little bit like Kanye West in this outfit. So we have the jumper of Reclaim Vintage. I did say I weren't going to reuse any of the items but here we are. I love this jumper. They do it in a slate grey and I'm really tempted to get it in the grey colour because I just love it. Got this jumper on and then I also have these trousers on which are from a brand called Cold Laundry. Now I have heard of the brand loads of times on Instagram. All my favourite Instagrammers always shop there. It's in Box Park. They have like a little pop-up. I've been told that their online ordering system is not that great. So if you can go in and buy stuff, definitely go in and get it. My choice of shoe for this outfit is definitely these Ugg slippers. I picked these up a little while ago on Urban Outfitters. I got staff discount on there from when I worked at Urban Outfitters, so I picked these up. These are literally the comfiest shoes ever. Literally, I live in these. Whenever I'm in the house, I have these on my feet. I didn't realize how much I actually valued having warm feet and how much cozier I felt having warm feet. I was always the type of person when I'm at home just to walk around barefoot and have ice cold feet 24 hours a day. I thought it was just the norm, but apparently, 
wearing slippers is great and I feel like even though these slippers don't go with the colour palette, it just tops off the outfit. How can you be cosy head to toe and not have cosy shoes on? And there we have it. I am still wearing the brown jumper because yes, like I said in the last clip, I am going to stay in this all night now. I just threw on a hat to make it look a little bit different, you know? But yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, smash a big thumbs up like I said at the beginning. Don't forget to subscribe. 60% of you aren't subscribed. Like, bitch, what the hell are you doing? I want to make more fashion videos and I just want my channel to be everything that I want it to be. I've been doing a range of different content lately, so please let me know if you're enjoying it. Let me know if you enjoy fashion stuff. I would love to do more fashion things. Obviously, study fashion. I love it. It's fun. I love you a lot and I'll chat to you very, very soon. If you want to follow me on Instagram, by the way, to see all these outfits and if I pair different things with different things, please do. It means a lot. Anyway, I love you a lot. I'm now going to go in the kitchen and play some board games. Bye.